So hello YouTube, my name is VladFryla.com and this will be a short video on uh, how to, let's see, uh, too dark, on how to uh, clean uh, this Acer. This is a model uh, 5250. So now the reason I'm doing this is because this uh, laptop has uh, the shittiest CPU ever and uh, let me show you what I mean uh, it has uh, 1.3 gigahertz and uh, this is uh, slow as hell so and plus the fan spins uh, at horrible speeds so uh, the reason I'm doing this uh, cleaning because I will be making an experiment which will be in my next video obviously which I'll be replacing this CPU uh, with 1.86 GHz. Uh, it is it's the same socket. Uh, and the experiment part is that I will be desoldering this one and soldering a new one because um, I had a I had a Samsung laptop which motherboard just burned, got hit by a thunderbolt or something like that, and. Uh, I didn't know what to do with it, so I removed the CPU, and uh, it turned out that this is the same socket. Socket, uh, it's not socket, but same uh, BJ ball spin out, same same uh, version, I suppose. So, without further ado, let's open this sucker. In just a second. Um, so, first of all, okay, this should be movable. Okay, it is. First of all, you should always remove the battery. This is always a good idea. And you should probably have something underneath uh, the laptop. I have a couple of screws. Ah! These are the small ones. And I believe these are the only ones that are small ones. I, th I think that the rest of the screws are uh, the same. Yeah, no more screws in here. Okay, this is a DVD recorder screw. So I will be placing it here and you just pull out DVD drive. Okay, uh, now there are two screws and underneath this should be a screw for the hard drive and should be probably only one screw. So this here. And just as I said, uh, this is the uh, our drive screw and the only thing you need to do is just to pull and you have uh, successfully removed your hard drive. Now let's remove other screws. And again, uh, these screws are all the same length so there is really nothing that can possibly go wrong if you put them... Uh, if you put them in one place. So again, you see even, even this one is as long as the other ones. Okay. All that ejected quickly. Oh! Here it is. So, you should probably have uh, some kind of cloth on the table. This table is rather clean, but uh, cloth is always a good idea. So, removing the screws. I do wonder how, <laughs> how will the experiment turn out. So, okay. Now, after you have removed all of the screws, you'll need to remove. Oh no, you won't. You'll need to. Uh, sorry, disconnect this one and remember the. Uh, where the wire goes, usually there are two white and uh, sorry, white and black ones. So you should probably remember that because they're there for a reason. Okay, so now what you need to do is to open, and there are a couple of uh, sorry, there are a couple of uh, just to show you. A couple of those, which you need to press to remove the keyboard, so... I'll be placing my hand underneath 
this thing because you do need to uh, just a second you do need to uh, press in order to remove this now I'll be using well to be honest I don't know what I'll be using to remove because I don't have anything which I can pry but I'll be back in a second just a sec These are my professional pry tools, which you can buy off of eBay. And they are actually super cheap. Okay, so let's see what we can do here. Um, just a second. Uh, right, this is a bad thing, okay. So just bought another screwdriver, I suppose. Okay, let's pry this thing open and remove the keyboard. Okay. Uh, this actually goes with the screwdriver way better. But the problem with the screwdriver is that you can damage the keyboard and that sucks. So there's that. Okay, just a second. Now the reason why I'm doing this because if you do not remove the keyboard you'll probably break that flat cable that connects the keyboard, so that sucks big time. Just a second, okay. I'll be placing this underneath. Okay, so now when I have this action going, I will be just trying to open it just to press it. And here it is. Now I can press this one as well. And when you have a couple of those, you can just Place your hand underneath and it will go way easier. Again, you can do this with a um, screwdriver and it will be way better, but like plastic because it does not damage anything. So, now when you have this, you have to make like, like this and uh, yeah, this one of those keys was already damaged. So, okay, and now we remove these and you have a couple of screws in here as well and again these screws are uh, they're all the same size as you can see uh, these ones are shorter but every screw in here is the same size or it usually is yep so after you remove all of the screws okay you will okay I can put them on some other place basically I have only two groups well actually three the small ones these ones go underneath and this one go on top okay now in order to unhook this you'll need to pull this thing up just a second I'll do it with my screwdriver up and up and I just Pull it, and basically it's the same for every connector. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So again, you can just pull up. Won't make a difference. It won't break. It won't be a problem. Okay, now in order to remove this, you just push those black parts I believe this is my mic either microphone or a speaker but I believe this is a speaker might be a speaker and the other speaker probably and I think that's about it let's see okay uh -huh. mm -hmm. now if there aren't any screws left and there are none you can just place your hand and Jiggle it a bit, I suppose, and this should be it ready to remove. And there you go, you have your motherboard. You can remove this one as well, and this one, 
<laughs> this one was not even screwed. Go figure. Um, to remove this one, you just pull up, and it is up. No, to remove this one, and just like the last one, you just pull this little black knob, and there should be a screw in here that holds the motherboard, which is also the same size as the other ones. Okay, so also there is one screw in here that holds the fan and probably another one. There are three I think. One, two, again also the same size as the, uh, well, all the top ones. Okay, so if I'm not mistaken this should pop out. Just a second, I should probably remove the fan or just pull it up a bit. Uh, just a second, no, 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 no. Okay, and this should be a power connector and you can just pull it. You basically won't break anything. Uh, just a second. And that's about it. Your motherboard is out. You can put this thing to rest and you can clear the uh, CPU fan also just pull this thing up and downwards and here are the grills these ones are not quite dirty but they are dirty now just to show you which CPU I will be replacing just a second um, so this will be actually awesome experiment And just to pull this thing up, so yeah, I will be also removing this. So yeah, this is the CPU. These are they're assholes. They, they they put these gunks, so you cannot remove that. But we'll do something about it anyway. So thank you for watching this video. And basically, it is pretty same, pretty simple uh, to uh, put it back. So. Put the heat heatsink back and put it um, in here and just pull it down. There is one screw over here, and basically that is it. You also need to connect this black wire, connect the uh, LCD, and uh, that is about it. I do hope you uh, enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe, share, whatever, um, and that is about it. And <laughs> we'll see you when I start burning this mobile. Cheers.